Hello there. So, we uh, left off here. I'm about to go soldering again. We uh, Last time we did solder the EFC, uh, not the EFC, the FC, the flight controller, nase board, supplied it with 5 volt, and we verified that it actually got power uh, by putting on power. So, that's nice. So, uh, and as you can see, we should be able to just plug it out, like so. And what we need to take, no, what we need to be, what we need to notice right now is that these signaling wires that we're going to look at now are going on this side, it could also go on this side, but I will prefer to put it on this side. And we have the numbering 1, 2, 3, 2, 6, 1 through 6. And we're going to start here, number 1, as you can see. So, which one is what, you might ask. If it is going to be like so, I am having engine number 1 down here, engine number 2, engine number 3, and engine number 4. So, we will start with this one, put this one, this one, and this one. I am going to leave a little bit, a little, little bit, tiny bit of extra space so that I can hopefully put off my nase board a little bit, maybe even flip it over on the right here, if you understand. So I am going to take it like this. I think I'm going to go for a soldering where the wire are going on the inside. Not, not like this one, but I'm going on the inside. You see? Yeah, it is also going on the inside. Um, just to be on the safe side, to have a little bit extra. So I think I'm going... I can always cut off some more. So that's not the big worry. Uh, it just works the opposite way. Save the wire piece. You never know when you're going to need it. And as you may have noticed from last time, the black is the negative, and the white one is kind of the positive, but it is the signaling wire where it is getting its information is input and so on so let's see e -e 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 -e, like that and going to do that ah like so Whee. sometimes you think you did get it cut sometimes you don't get it cut yari, 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 yari. be careful do not cut too much because we do not we want to keep the cover, which is not cover in this case, I guess. Like so. And some <coughs> tin for difference. Just a little bit. Like so. And I think I'm just going to take off the top of it. Just a tiny bit here. Okay. Like so. And let's see if we can solder the negative in the bottom <coughs> it's hard to see I hope I can show it the bottom row is the negative the top row is the signaling wire and the center piece is the positive and we have here the positive mounted for powering the maze board and this is where it gets tricky because how how would you prefer to do it? If I put it like this, it overlaps with the other one. So I think I'm going to take the take the signaling wire. Ooh. 
This is where it gets tight. Sorry if I hit you on the way. Like so. And put this one right here. Like so. So, that was number one. Nice soldering, I think. Number two, engine, you see, whatever, needs to go over here, and now again, I'm just going to leave off a little bit extra, I can always cut off more, but I do not want excess of wire, uh, I just want, I just want to be enough. Just read in a forum that the uh, there was a user with a Phantom Three was out flying with it. <clears throat> the strange part for him was that when it went up at a hundred meter, he only had two or three satellites. When he went down a little bit, he had like ten satellites or something. I don't know if you know it, but the Phantom uses its satellites to navigate and hold its position, etc. And, uh, sorry about that sound, that was my phone again. Um, but, I mean, it is a little bit strange because there's some, some engine, maybe there is a dish nearby. Blocking the signal for it or something. Uh, I don't think it is a GPS jammer, then it would have an effect all the time, I think. So, sorry for, for that. Let's just see, we do not want it to touch anything else. Sorry for my. I am just trying a little bit to concentrate here. It's ain't easy, as you may can tell. Two for two, Charlie. Number three, engine. Let's just give it a little bit extra. And as I mentioned earlier, and as you also perhaps saw in some of my videos, some people like the plugs, the uh, is it JST or I don't know. It is these kind of plugs. I mean, uh, for the NACE or flight controller anyway. Some people like to solder it. I myself did start out with the uh, c uh, connectors, um, but on some of my designs, I have the the uh, flight controller. Sandwiched uh, on the, the kilopy frame, it is in the bottom of uh, the, the hull, and there is simply not any space there for the connectors. Uh, so that was the first time I did like this now. Sure has some tin on it, and it is. I mean, both both things works, but what's best for you is up for you to decide. 
if you are new and you have the space for it, go with the connectors. It's easy plug and play. You just have to take care of all the wire. It's not like you don't have any wire. See, I have some here, and I'm going to. It is going to be a miss. Uh, see, I can access my power distribution board. But, I mean, go with the. Uh, go with what you feel for uh, at the beginning. Oops, sorry. Let's see inside. Oh, time is going so fast. Darn it. I could keep talking, could keep soldering. Heavy with this one. Done, done, done. Bad. Bad, bad. So, and let's just see if we can make the last one. I am in a bit of hurry now. Again, I do not like that. Let's just take it right there. Cut it, 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 cut it. Ah, sorry for swirling around here. I just need to. See where I can put down the wires for cutting here. So put your hands up in the air. So I'm still here, don't worry about it, just trying to focus my mind on what I'm doing, which ain't that easy. So, four out of four. <clears throat> and as you can see, I should be able to to access my power distribution board, just sort of, you know. And I still can put down my nays, and I I have a little bit of excess wire, but I think I think it's okay for now. You can always fine tune it if you want it. So. Um, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it. As always, the time just flies away. Go very fast. But uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, take care for now. Bye-bye.